The Legislative Yuan has approved nine administrative directives allowing the import of U.S. pork containing ractopamine. Rival lawmakers swapped charges of hypocrisy, with each side accusing the other of endorsing ractopamine when it's politically convenient. With the ruling party holding a strong majority in the legislature, all nine directives passed easily. This is tonight's first report. At the end of it all, lawmakers gave the green light to U.S. pork containing ractopamine. They voted on nine related administrative directives on Thursday. It was a fierce showdown from the start. The president unilaterally decides to open the borders to racto pork. What did she use? An executive order. Was there communication? No. Was there an explanation? No. What kind of government is this? When it's not showing incompetence, it's taking advantage of the people. Her political values change with the moon. Of the 38 party members in the KMT caucus, 14 originally voted in favor. Doesn't that make the KMT the party of double standards? The two major parties accused each other of hypocrisy. Media attention went to three DPP lawmakers who strayed from the party line. They were Jiang Yongchang, Lin Shufen and Liu Jianguo. All three represent agricultural districts and chose to abstain from voting. On this issue, lawmakers from the ruling party should defend the party's position and support the government's policy. As a lawmaker of the party, that's something you should do to the best of your ability. The premier admonished DPP lawmakers for not falling in line. The executive yuan stressed that preparations were well underway for the ban lift. Starting January 1st, five major measures will roll out as imports come in. One measure is meant to ease public concerns through data transparency. Every working day, we will report the number of Taiwan hog slaughter to produce how much pork. The board will also show how much pork meat has been imported and from which countries. All of that will be publicized. The executive yuan said mechanisms would be in place to ensure food safety and to give the people peace of mind.